Two hundred gallons. How many gallons an hour? Huh? Forty miles an hour. At what? Forty miles an hour? Almost forty miles an hour. A little over thirty-four. That is hauling it. And well, it's still the fastest ship, you know. Where was this built? I was New York. Three weeks and three days. All four of these ships started to miss you a little bit. Brooklyn Navy Yard? On the East Coast. New York, Philadelphia, wherever the ship was. But they were supposed to be six originally, right? What? Weren't they supposed to be six all together in this, in that, in this class? Battleships, six, six battleships. There were six to be built. Right. But when the war ended, they uh, they had the keel laid for the Kentucky and the Illinois, and uh, they didn't need them after the war ended. They used it for something else. In fact, they took the bow off of the Kentucky and put it on the Wisconsin because the Wisconsin had bow damage. Oh, okay, that's why it's Norfolk. This, this steel is so thick, this thing is indestructible. It's 11 inches thick. At the, at the water line, when it's fully loaded, fully loaded with everything, at the water line, it's 18 inches thick. A plate of steel, before we put it away. And then the six it well. <laughs> These gun turrets are 15 inches. Yeah, they do. And the uh, bridge is even, I think, 10 inches or something like that. When Roosevelt built this, he built, he knew exactly what he wanted because he had been secretary of the movement. So, oh. so he knew ships. And he told him I wanted heavy armor. So he wanted to penetrate. Who, who made the steel? Huh? Who made the steel? Where did the steel come from? Uh, that I couldn't tell. All I know is it's that thing. And, uh, you could sleep at night, huh? Huh? You could sleep at night. <laughs> there, there, was, there was a bomb or a gun that could penetrate those halls, those tourists in World War II. You've seen them go off. I, I only saw them one time, that was in Saipan. The rest of the time, my battle station was down in fire. No one could be around here, right? It would blow them no. off the deck or something, right? Uh, not right around here. They would have the gunners that out there. You know, Five inches, the twenty inches, and forty. But the deckhand tried up here. So you were on oh. the ship when they fired them many times, but you only saw them one time. Right. Yeah, because you were working in the boiler. You could still. You knew they went off. Oh yeah. Every time they fired them, you you would know. You would hear a boom. And, uh, Wouldn't go like this one. Oh, no. They well, said it fact, didn't it, move. Yeah, but just kind of. It was just kind of bad. They could fire all of these at one time and it would move this ship three inches in water. <laughs> Not even three inches. What, what, where people got the idea to push that ship sideways is when they fired them broadside, the repercussion pushed that water out so far that it looked like the ship was moving. Hmm. Was a Big shockwave. Yeah, the repercussion. Uh, these guns, they could fire one round out of one of these guns, and in 30 seconds, 30 seconds, they could have it ready to fire again. They could fire two rounds a minute out of these guns. They go 20 miles. 24 miles. This ship here, just before the explosion in that number two turret back there, they had... Uh, was having gunnery no, 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 practice no, no, no. and gunnery no, no, no. training. Uh, and uh, they fired one of these with a 2,700-pound armor versus projectile, 24 nautical miles, which was almost 27 mm -hmm. land miles, and they hit the target. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> that, that, that's just mind-boggling. Yeah. Yeah, that 2,700-pound projectile could penetrate or explode a 30 by 30 reinforced concrete block.
Oh, yeah. If it has that on you, just... And I read, too, where it could penetrate uh, 22 inch inches no. of steel. I, I heard it would blow up a whole city block. Well, it could. They could, one of these uh, big projectors would create a, a crater. I think it's 50 feet wide and 30 some feet deep. You know, John, what he was probably referring to is sometimes you guys did it. Uh, over in Vietnam, uh, yeah, if you need a helicopter yeah. landing pad, drop one of these things in and it's clear the whole area. <laughs> in fact, the, the last, the last uh, battle in the ship was actually in was Korea. I think it was in the Gulf War, but it, all it done was escort. But these, yeah, these guns, we could set far enough off of, the, off of an island that no gun on our island could yeah. reach us. Yeah. Now, uh, Korea. It's like a drum, huh? Oh, yeah. Uh, in Korea, they would fire these guns it makes an over the head. It has a real shell inside the real there. Room. Well, it's it's a real open chamber. It's a real gun. You could hear this projector. How tall is this? And it takes a minute. Well, I don't know. I don't know because they cut off the top part to go into the bridge. So I really don't know. Do you know the measurements of that, John? What's that? Of the tower. superstructure? Uh, I think it's about 20 or 30 feet. So, 20 or 30 feet. Uh, 20 or 30 feet. Yeah. Oh, you mean that's missing, the part that's missing? Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. The height of that. Yeah, they cut cut that much off. They're going to put it back on, though. They're going to put it back on here. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay.